Hvare tika tēnei, hvare waka pai pai Nō reira me whai kupua nā hau ki ngā tāngata nā nei hua te whakaaro Ki ngā ringa ringa nā nei whakatutuki Me ngā tāngata koto i whai wāhi i tū ai tēnei whare Let us hope that this fine new home for King Koroke will be a real herald of a new era in the housing of the Māori people of New Zealand. Nō reira, ko te mea... Tūranga Waiwai Marae is the official headquarters of Te Kingitanga, or the Māori King Movement. Te Kingitanga was established in the 1850s. Māori traditionally structured themselves around smaller groups, but the King Movement was an effort to unify various Māori tribes in the Waikato and protect their land. The movement aimed to work alongside the Crown to make sure Waikato Māori got a fair deal. However, the movement took many years to establish because no one could be convinced to take on the mantle of king. Tribes from all over the country debated who should be king and eventually Potato Te Whero Whero stepped up to the challenge and at Ngaru Wahia in 1859 he was confirmed as the first Māori king. The need to suppress Te Kingitanga was one of the reasons given by the settler government for the Waikato War of the early 1860s. This war, with the subsequent confiscation of vast amounts of Māori land, saw Te Kingitanga, now headed by Te Whero Whero's son, King Tafiao, greatly weakened. King Tafiao and his followers were forced to take refuge in the central North Island region, which is still called the King Country. It was not until the 1920s that Te Kingitanga returned to Ngarua Wahia. The name for the marae comes from a famous saying in which King Tafiao identified Ngarua Wahia as his Tūranga Waiwai, or standing place. His granddaughter, Te Puya Herangi, was a popular local leader thanks to her opposition to conscription during World War I. The marae was built under her direction as a headquarters for Te Kingitanga, at the original home of Ngarua Wahia. Local Māori leaders bought some land on the Waikato River, which had earlier been confiscated, and overcame opposition from local Pākehā, or Europeans, to build the impressive new marae. Today, Te Kingitanga is recognised by Māori beyond its official authority in the Waikato, and is a respected institution in New Zealand society. Tūranga Waiwai Marae has hosted many important occasions, including welcoming Queen Elizabeth in 1953 and 1974. The first meeting was not in the official itinerary of the British royal couple, but an exception was made because huge celebrations had been planned at the marae. The visit became a historic moment of reconciliation between the Crown and Te Kingitanga. The current Māori king and head of Te Kingitanga is Te Araki Nui to Heitia Paki, who was crowned in 2006 after the death of his mother, Queen Te Araki Nui, Dame Te Atairangi Kahu. The coronation of a new Māori king or queen happens on the last day of the tangihanga, or funeral of their predecessor. In 2006, Dame Te Ata's tangihanga lasted a week. Choosing a new monarch is up to the Kohanga Nui, or Māori Parliament. After his 2006 coronation, the Māori king accompanied his mother on her last journey along the Waikato River in a ceremonial waka, or canoe, to be buried alongside previous Kingitanga leaders at the royal burial ground on the summit of Taupiri, the sacred mountain of the Waikato people. This event captured the imagination of the New Zealand public, Māori and Pākehā, and was watched by over 400,000 people on television. As a mark of respect for the Māori Queen, the All Blacks wore black armbands and observed a moment of silence before their match against Australia, which was played the week that Queen Teata died. <laughs>